okay? I'm putting you guys on right now because nobody told me this. Jayla, Alia, please don't copyright me, yeah. What is up, guys? This is your Jayla Ali, and I am back with another video, okay? Back, we're back. And today I'm coming at you guys with a seven tips for small YouTubers who are just getting started. And this is basically me things that I wish somebody had told me when I was first on YouTube. It's things that I um, discovered on my own and some that I've realized or I've gotten the idea from a YouTuber. So we're just gonna jump right into it because, <sighs> sis, I'm not gonna waste your time. Or bro, I'm not gonna waste your time. I don't know if sis or bro is watching this, okay? So my first tip is iMovie, okay? So this is what happened. If you guys see my very first video, my very, very first video, it was me doing a twist out, I think. And it just went all wrong. So basically, I recorded my video on my phone and I put in iMovie and I was editing my, um, my video. I deleted a video off of my phone to make space. Don't do that. Do not delete any videos that you have on your phone that you put in iMovie because once you do that, it's going to say that it's missing a, um, a piece. Like a, uh, Basically, if you delete the video from your phone, you're deleting it from the iMovie too. Like in, the video needs to be in your phone in order for you to edit the video on iMovie. That's number one. And number two, when you're using iMovie, I don't know if it's because before I didn't have any subscribers or whatever, but it's still kind of acts funny. If you try to directly upload from iMovie to YouTube, it tries to act funny and say that you cannot upload anything over 10 minutes. So it's going to cut it off. Or it's going to like, it's, it, listen, save yourself the stress. This is what I do anyway. I go on iMovie, I edit, do all that other stuff, you know have my own um, video. After I finished editing my video, I download it to my phone or my laptop and I personally watch it. I sit down and watch it. And if I could stomach <laughs> myself and watch the whole entire thing, then I'm just like, okay, I upload it from my laptop or my phone to YouTube because it, it always works like that for me. So I just don't want you guys to make the same mistake that I did and mess around and, you know what I'm saying? Not have like a good video or whatever. So that's number uno. So number two is being consistent. Like even if you feel like you aren't being watched or your videos aren't being seen by anybody and you think that nobody cares about what you're doing or whatever, that's not true. It's just people don't know that you might be like a, a great YouTuber. People are really gonna float towards people that have over a thousand subscribers, that have a whole bunch of likes. Even if you aren't getting that many um, likes or views or whatever, do not worry about it. Don't stress yourself. Do not, don't beat yourself up about it basically. Like just relax, like keep making videos no matter what. Like people say have an upload schedule. I'd say have an upload schedule or have like for each week um, how many amount of videos that you want to upload for that week you know what i'm saying but be consistent make sure you keep putting out content because then if you just stop because you're not getting views then people are gonna be like oh like where did you go like me personally listen to this me personally i had a video blow up it's um the onision black hair um reaction video it has 3k views right now okay so remember that 3k views kind of blew up you know what i'm saying i gained a lot of subscribers after that and my channel took off a little bit because i had like a lot of views comments subscribers um that liked my reactions stuff like that so i gained a, a little a little clout you know just a little bit shortly after that school was like my main priority so i stopped uploading if i kept uploading i probably would have had at least 2,000 subscribers by now because when i was being consistent they were coming in like this like once you're consistent and people see it and they genuinely like your personality or what you talk about what you do and you're funny or goofy or you're quirky or whatever you are and they just like you for you then they're gonna come in like your your um subscribers are gonna come in okay so just be consistent because once they see that, oh, you have a bunch of videos, I'm like, okay, this one was good. Let me see the other video. Let me look at that video. Let me look at this video. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this is the third tip. Now, don't be me and um, 
don't be me and try to screen record music. This is when screen record first came out, right? <clears throat> so first, what I would do for my videos was I would, you know, edit and then I would try to find a song for my videos. So I didn't know, cause like per me personally, I didn't do that much research when starting a YouTube. I just knew that I wanted to have fun. I wanted to make a YouTube because it was fun. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not an outgoing person, like in real life. Like I'm just very chill, reserved. So I was just like, maybe I can like work on, I don't want to say my confidence or anything. Cause I'm, I'm pretty confident, but it's just like, maybe I could work on my talking skills and being outgoing through YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, me as a person, I'm very reserved, so this was just my way of having fun or whatever. So, I didn't look into stuff like this, like tips, how to start a small YouTube channel. I was just like, F it, I'm gonna just start it, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I was like, Mom, I'm starting my YouTube channel, forget it, like, you know what I'm saying? So, I didn't know that there was a website. It's, I'm gonna put it like right over my face. It's ytmp3.cc, okay? Now, I never used it on my iPhone, but I've used it on my MacBook because it's like easier. But I'm pretty sure it works the same on the iPhone as it, as it does on the um, MacBook. Basically, you know, you put in, um, you put in, like go on YouTube, you put in whatever video you want to copy. Like, See, this is the video. I'll evacuate the customers. You call the Navy. Hello, I Then go right here. Copy. mp4 so that I could download as a video mp3 is just audio okay i'm putting you guys on right now because nobody told me this now you download it and then it's on your device and then you could just put it into your the um editing software that you will use you know if in my case iMovie you could cut it in you could put in like little funny bits little funny noises like everything that i've used so far for like the past Four videos has been because of the ytmp3.cc because without that I probably wouldn't be having my funny memes or the um, funny audio that people have been like liking because a lot of people have been saying I'm very funny because of that stuff that's a great website to use for if you want to make sure or not make sure but if you want to have some fun on your channel you want to have some music and stuff like that yeah definitely check that website out because that will help you a lot my fourth tip is you should check out what's popular on YouTube. I'm going to say check out what's popular on YouTube, but do not force a video because that's popular and you want to get attention and views like that, okay? Because just because you do that popular video does not mean it's going to blow up. Like in my case, I seen that Onision video everywhere and I was just like, like, who is that? Like, I did not know who the guy was. Didn't know anything about it. So, I was just like, okay. So, I had watched Madame Muzel's, um video. Shout out to her because she's from New Jersey, too. But I watched her video and um, I seen her, like, talking about it. So, I was just like, you know what? Haven't watched it yet. Let me do a reaction video. It just so happened since that was popular at the time, my video had blew up a little bit. So, I would say try to aim for something that's popular at that time like during the time that you're trying to film but then again don't force it because just because you do it it doesn't mean that you're gonna blow up like everybody does reaction videos but not everybody's video blows up definitely look into things that's popular because if you do stuff like if you know how to do hair like a lace a wig or whatever that will make you blow up because i look at those videos and i don't even wear wigs it's just like certain things that will make you blow up that People just look up every day, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, I feel like hair videos, reaction videos, I don't know why people like watching people react, but reaction videos, pranks, 
like some crazy pranks like it has to be some top notch try to do a video that if you know if you watched it you would definitely watch it like it and subscribe to it you, know, you understand what i'm saying but don't force it and expect for it to go viral just because it was popular number five so number five is be yourself because i caught myself um talking about this the other day it wasn't the other day it was probably it was like yesterday um i did a story time hopefully by the time i put this um video out the story time is out already but i was doing the story time and i just felt like me watching other youtubers i wasn't extra enough but it's just like that's not my personality to be extra so like i redeem myself with the little memes and the audio and stuff like that so it's just i would say be yourself because if one person doesn't like you somebody else will like it's youtube there's a whole bunch of people watching that's number one and number two like if you try to put up a front the whole time like it's just gonna get tiring you know what i'm saying you might as well just be yourself and let whoever comes to you come to you whoever wants to subscribe to you subscribe to you don't be trying to be all extra because the other you see other youtubers doing it like just be yourself like if that's how you are if like you're loud and you're extra grab somebody's attention that way and like that's generally how you are okay cool but if you have to force it and you're not like that don't do it just be yourself because then it's easier that way and people will, you'll get people that will find you and like you for you just don't be like boring. Don't come on the screen monotone and don't do that. That's no, don't do it. Fifth tip. So basically, find other small YouTubers. So um, some people, what they do is they comment under popular YouTubers um, videos and they put, oh, I'm a small YouTuber, check my, my channel out. I personally don't like it because it's just like, I want to get my followers my way instead of trying to steal somebody else's followers not steal but like take somebody else's followers or like you know what i'm saying it's just it's something that big youtubers complain about a lot so like they don't like that so it's just like i tried to avoid doing that but what i did do was if i seen small youtubers that posted a video i'll go on their channel and i'll be like oh i liked your video sub for sub and if like they didn't sub for sub i just follow them and support them regardless like and if you do follow them and support a small youtuber keep supporting them just don't don't just like follow them like oh i got my follower or my subscriber and now like that's it that's all like i continue to comment on their videos comment on what they're doing like their videos like support them actually support them and another thing about the small youtuber thing is you could go on to like social media platforms and you could type in hashtag small youtuber support hashtag small youtuber community hashtag small youtuber and then there's like a lot of people that put that hashtag and they'll like if you follow them they'll like more than likely follow you back and then they'll also comment on your videos you know you could just meet new friends and then eventually maybe you'll have somebody that you could collab with so yeah, I would say try to meet other small YouTubers and support each other so you you could get their name out there and they could get your name out there and just be like, you know, little business partners. My last tip is keywords. So I had got this from That Girl Asia. She had mentioned it in her video and I did a test. So my previous videos, I didn't put any keywords. Like after I seen that it worked, I did it. But like the last three videos i didn't put any um keywords but then that last video well not last but unpopular opinion video to six nine i put keywords and when i first posted it i got way more views and um attention on the video than i usually do because i had the keywords like I, I noticed that like a lot more people were watching it because i put the keywords like the keywords made it so that some people that were on like the other end of youtube <laughs> seen it so like not people that were looking at somebody that had a channel like mine but more so that they were looking at like drama pages or they just looking up 6 9 in general like my page popped up for them so it was like I put in um my keywords into this website I forgot what it's called when I think it's like rad tags I don't know off the top of my head but when I'm editing, I definitely put it over my face so you guys can use it. But keywords will help you get your 
videos out to people that you never thought would be watching it and it'll help you just get a new audience or like new people that will see your content so i would definitely say make sure that you try to use keywords because keywords will definitely get you out there if you're not already I talked about iMovie I talked about being consistent I talked about ytmp3.cc I talked about the popular videos and how you should try to do that talked about how you should get small YouTubers to try and support each you and support each other because you know we're all in this together and then I talked about keywords so that's all for this video like if you guys liked it like comment and subscribe down below and i will try to start putting out videos like this because i personally think that we should all help people that are trying to do youtube because i don't see why you wouldn't want to support each other we're all you know i was trying to have fun so if you guys like this video like comment subscribe i will be trying to put more videos like this out for you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video okay i'm out